At the third location, two of the trucks are lined up and ready to be filled with sand. Thanks for your patience. Just wanted to give you a quick update on our progress. At the third location, two of the trucks are lined up and ready to be filled with sand. It's definitely a busy day at all the locations. One of the trucks is still empty, but we'll start filling it up soon. They started loading the carts onto the truck one by one. The sand was being filled alternately, while two people stayed away from the truck, removing small rocks left over from sieving the sand. It appears that the rocks are not being used, and removing the gravel does take some time. The miners were working together, with one starting the process of sieving sand and the other removing the remaining rocks from the sieve. They plan to remove the gravel from the top of the cliff, but are taking precautions to ensure safety below. They will dump the gravel left over from the sand sieving process at this location, which will save a lot of time. I believe that this third location is the easiest to find sand, and the cliff is not too high either.
If it is felt that the sand is experiencing a compaction process, then a crowbar is used to facilitate the process of taking the sand. Do you happen to know how many mine workers are currently working at this location? Although these pebbles and small rocks can still be used or redistributed, unfortunately, there isn't much demand for them in the market compared to sand. However, the quality of the sand here is unquestionably premium. With this many miners, I believe it will be over quickly. Good laugh when the rocks rolled too far, but we made sure the area below was safe. Before we go, we want to say goodbye and please stay tuned for our next video.